What is up, percussionists? I uh, hope you guys have been uh, not too bored on your time off. Um, so everybody should have their, their stuff, and uh, I wanted to put out some, some material for you guys to just kind of work on. Um, if you didn't watch my other video about the 12-bar blues, um, I just kind of explained briefly that uh, we're not, we as teachers are not supposed to be giving new material until after spring break. However, that's still two weeks away, so I wanted to kind of give you guys some stuff that you can at least work on just to keep you occupied. It's not new uh, concepts. It's just stuff to kind of help keep you, uh, keep you entertained and occupied and something to work on. Okay, uh, so the exercise that um, I'm going to teach you guys today, I'm going to go pretty quickly, but um, through the, the the beauty of having this video, you can always just pause it um, and work on a section before we get to the next. But the exercise that we're going to be working on is called the horse. Um, eighth graders, I cannot quite remember if we started this back in sixth grade. We might have. My memory um, thinks that we did. Um, but I don't think we finish it all the way through. If anything, it's going to be a really good review for you guys. And it's still a really good exercise that works on a lot of great concepts. Um, seventh graders, I know we haven't done this. Sixth grade, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for you guys. But um, if you're up for it, it's really, really good. It works on a lot of great concepts. Okay. So the music for the horse should be down below. Um, if it is not down below, just check on my website, hrmsband.com. You'll be able to find it there as well, probably with this video. Okay. Now, uh, the horse works on a couple of different things, and I'm going to kind of just go over those before I dive into them. Um, one is one is double strokes, okay? Uh, so single strokes is just one on each hand, okay? Double strokes, then we have two. Now, what I'm not doing is I'm not going with my wrist on both. I'm not going... Okay, those are single strokes. What I want to do is a double stroke where it's, it's kind of like a multiple bounce, but I'm only letting it go for two before I bring the stick back up again. So I'm fairly relaxed. And I'm letting the rebound of the stick do the majority of the work. It's a lot more relaxed, okay? Um, the second thing that the, the piece works on um, is a single stroke roll. That's just right, left, right, left. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, the third thing is it works on paradiddles, something we should be very, very comfortable with by now. Okay, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay, this one in particular actually only does right hand um, paradiddles and it just does a left a left hand tap afterwards. So paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap, whoops, parad paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap. Okay. And make sure that we're doing the accent on the beginning of it. Paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap. Not paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap. There's no difference between what's accent and what's not. Okay. Um, the third thing is a is a rudiment that sixth graders I don't think we've talked about yet, but it's it's fairly straightforward. It's called a paradiddle diddle. Okay. Instead of just one uh, diddle at the end of a paradiddle, instead of paradiddle, we're just adding another diddle, which is on the left hand. Paradiddle diddle. Paradiddle. Okay, that's the third rudiment. Um, and the last concept that we have on there is it looks like an X. Oh, I guess that we do have some flams in there. You guys know how to do flams, though. Um, but the it has an X on the note head. That's called a, a rim shot. A rim shot is when you're hitting the head of the drum and the rim at the exact same time. You get kind of a click kind of sound on it. It's a little bit difficult to get. That's not the most important concept right now, but that's that's what that means. Okay? So we're going to start at the very beginning. Like I said, I'm going to go fairly quickly through this exercise, um, but you can always pause it and work on stuff in, in between. Um, I know it just changed time signatures quite a bit, but that's just to incorporate the rudiment that each uh, measure is working on. In between each um, section Okay, pretty much every two, um, almost every two measures, you have what's called like a check pattern, which is just four, four, eighth notes, and two, and three, and four, and you'll see that um, in measure three, we have that, in measure seven, we have that, in measure 11, we have that, in measure 15, we have that, um, and that's just kind of just to get us back to something comfortable before we go to something more complicated, okay? Um, I would encourage you to do this with the metronome, because the metronome will let you know if you are right or wrong. Okay, um, right now I've got my metronome set at 90 beats per minute. That's how fast 90 is. Um, I would encourage you to try and go a little bit faster than that, but for right now we're just going to stick with 90. 
okay? Um, so the little slash through the stem, that means that we're doing a double stroke. You can see that the, the sticking underneath will kind of give that away for you. So in that first measure, it's just right, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Okay, and make sure that for those doubles, we're not going all from the wrist. We're letting it be more of a, of a bounce. Okay, um, and that's the first two measures. Okay, first two measures, right, left, right, left. Okay, the third measure is just eighth notes, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's our check pattern, okay? And then the fourth measure after that is just double strokes. So it's just like measure three, but instead of just doing singles on each, we're doing doubles on each. So measures three and four would be one and two and three and four. That was a little bit sloppy. Let me try that again. Six, seven, three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four, and four. There we go. Oh, I have a season. I almost did. All right. Uh, the fifth measure, this is when we're doing, it's going to sound very similar to um, the very beginning, but instead of doing double strokes, we're just doing sixteenths, but they're singles. So we have one, and two, and three, and a four, e and a one, and two, and three, and a four, e and a Okay, and then seven and eight is, is the check pattern, followed by sixteenths, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. Okay, so this is um, five, six, seven, and eight. I'll do that for you. Six, seven, and one and two and three and a four e and a one and two and three and a four e and a one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one. Okay, simple as that. Um, at measure nine is when we get into the paradiddles, <clears throat> the paradiddle tap, just because we have that left hand, uh, that single tap right after it. Um, please notice where the accent is at. It's at the very beginning of the paradiddle. That is the only one that is accented, okay? So in measure nine, we have one and two and paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap, okay? One and two and paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap. Okay, very, very important. Um, measures nine and ten are the exact same thing, followed by a check pattern at eleven. Okay, so 9 and 10 would be 1 and 2 and paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap, 1 and 2 and paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap, okay? And then measure 11 is just the check pattern, um, and that brings us in the next page, which is on page 12. This is where instead of just doing um, two paradiddle taps, we do four paradiddle taps in that one measure, and that is why it is a 6-4 measure, okay? So measures 11 and 12, 11 is the check pattern, 12 is the four paradiddle taps. Let me do that, 3 0 6 Seven and one and two and three and four and paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap, paradiddle tap. Okay, that's that. Um, measure 13 and 14, this is where we are doing paradiddle diddles. Okay, so similar to the paradiddle um, or the paradiddle tap as I was calling it, but we now have uh, two diddles. So in measure 12, we just have one and two and paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle. Okay, and again, notice where the accent is on the beginning of the paradiddle diddle. One and two and paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle. Okay, and we have that for two measures, followed by a check pattern at 15. So 13 and 14, the paradiddle diddles. One and two and paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle. One and two and paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle. Okay, measure uh, 15 is the check pattern. And 16, this is where we have four paradiddle diddles in a row, not just two like we did the previous measures. You can kind of see the pattern it's following from doing the paradiddle taps. So this is measures 15 and 16, the check pattern plus four paradiddle diddles. Six, seven, and one, and two, and three, and four, and paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle. Para okay? Pretty straightforward. Um... I know I'm moving fast, but again, that's why I said you can pause. Um, measure 17, okay? 17 is a little bit weird. We've got some accents here, and you see how we've got some um, some double strokes, okay? It's a very simple rhythm. One, two, and three, and a four, e, and a one. Okay, oops, sorry. That's actually supposed to be a rim shot there at the end. So one, two, and three, and a four, e, and a rim shot. Okay, the rim shot is the very beginning of 18. Um, and if you look at the rudiment that is being played um, at 18, those are paradiddle diddles as well. So we have a rim shot on one followed by two paradiddle diddles. Okay? Shot, paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle. Okay? Shot, paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle. Okay? Um, so I'll do those two measures. This is 17 and 18. Okay? 17 and 18, 6, 7, and 1, 2, and 3, and a 3, and a shot. Okay, 
right? I'll do that one more time. That one's, that one's a little bit tricky of a transition. Let's try it again. 17, 18, 6, 7, and 1, 2, and 3, and a 3, and a shot. Ooh, that was rough on my part. We need to do that again just for me. 6, 7, and 1, 2, and 3, and a 3, and a shot. There we go. Much better. Um, now, the last... Uh, the last two measures, in measure nine, um, your right hand is the only one doing the downstrokes, okay? So you can just keep your right hand is going up, your left hand is just doing taps. One, and two, and three, oh, sorry, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, okay? Um, and then the second to last measure, this is just a single stroke roll, but they're all accents. One E and a two E and a three, and the three is a rim shot at the end. One E and a two E and a shot. And then right there here at the end, we have three flams. They're all the same right, right flams. Flam, flam, flam. Okay? One E and a two E and a shot. Flam, flam, flam. One E and a two E and a shot. Flam, flam, flam. Okay? Let me try those last three measures. Last three, six. This is 19, 20, and 21. Six, seven, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one E and a two E and a shot. Okay, one more time. Six, seven, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one E and a two E and a shot. Flam, flam, flam. Okay? All right. So, that's quite a lot. So, let's do it all in context at 90 beats per minute, okay? So, this is the entire horse exercise at 90 beats per minute. Um, it is kind of a page turn for me, but I'll, I think I got it from memory. Here we go. <clears throat> and five, six, seven, beginning. to the paradiddles. shots that was a little bit rough okay but that's the general concept now that was at 90 beats per minute um, I'll do it one more time at 120 beats per minute okay I'll put on the eighth note too so it's a little bit easier to hear that that click okay this is at 120 and five six and five six seven and I decided to not be loud for some reason while I did that. Anyways, that's just so the general concept, okay? Um, it, it's a little bit of a tricky exercise. There's a lot of technical work that goes into it. Um, however, I encourage you guys to give it a shot. Um, it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it, but a lot of those double strokes um, get a little bit tricky, especially going in between all those accents and making sure you're doing good downstrokes for the beginning of the pair diddles and the pair diddle diddles. Um, but it's something to work on, um, something to kind of challenge you. I encourage you guys to try it, give it your best shot, and um, if you can, record yourself doing it and send it to me at my email at um, mgrimes at wcpss.net. I encourage you to. I want to see how you guys are doing on it, and uh, try and challenge yourself. See how fast you can do it, um, and I'll see how fast I can do it, and we'll see if you can beat me. Okay? All right. Love you. Miss you.